Hello everyone. Welcome to Lead Code Daily Challenge. So this is the last problem for this month. So the, the problem for today is recover binary search tree. You will be given a, you will be given the root of a binary search tree where exactly two nodes of the tree were swapped by mistake. We need to recover the tree without changing its structure. So uh, you need to find uh, two nodes that, that have been swapped and you need to uh, correct the values for those two nodes and you don't have to modify the tree. So for now, let's ignore the follow-up. I mean, the follow-up asks you to uh, do it in a most efficient way. But as I said earlier, uh, we can always try to uh, get a, a better method that we can uh, uh, think of straight away. So we can always try to solve using a straightforward method that we can get easily. Then we can try to improve upon that. So this, as you know, this is a hard problem in the lead code. So we will try to solve it in the constraints. So let's check some examples. So in the first example, we have a binary search tree with values 1, 3, 2. So 1 is the root. Here, the nodes uh, 1 and 3 have been swapped. So the values uh, are swapped. So the correct binary search tree should be 3, 1, 2. As you know, uh, the most important point of binary search, the most important property of binary search tree is that if you take a node in the tree, uh, any node, its value will be more than uh, uh, every node in its left, left subtree and its value will be uh, less than every node, uh, the value of every node in its right subtree. So that is the important property of binary search tree. So as you can see uh, in the left side, nine foot, uh, 3 is uh, to the left of 1, so which is wrong. So, and if you see on the right side, uh, 1 is to the left of uh, 3, so it's correct, and 2 is to the right of two, uh, right of 1. So, because 2 is more than 1, so it is to the right side of uh, 1. So, let's check second example. So, we have 1, 3, 4, 2 here. And again, as you can see, uh, if you take node 3, its right, right subtree has a node uh, with value 2. But uh, every node in its right subtree should be more than its value. So here uh, 2 and 3 are in, uh, not proper order, not in the proper order. So the correct uh, binary search tree will be 1, 2, 4, 3. So coming to constraints, the number of nodes in the tree will be in the range 2 to 1000. And the values will be minus 2 power um, minimum integer to max integer. So anyway, the values doesn't really matter here. Okay, so uh, what should be our approach? So uh, straightforward one straightforward way is as you know uh, we should be we should be able to use uh, the property of the binary search tree that is one important property so when you do in order traversal of a binary search tree you get all the values in the sorted order so uh, what do we mean by in order in order traversal so for those of you who are not familiar so an in order traversal will be you start with with the root node and or uh, let's say for any particular for any node first you traverse its left subtree completely then you visit the node then you uh, traverse the right subtree completely uh, this way you get a in order traversal of a given binary tree so for a binary search tree when you do in order traversal the traversal will generate uh, a sorted order of the given numbers so all the numbers uh, the number the numbers uh, of the nodes will be in sorted order when you do in order traversal so what can we do here so when you do in order traversal you are expected to get a sorted uh, list of numbers instead of uh, unsorted numbers so we need to make uh, the numbers uh, which are not in sorted order to to the sorted order so that's what we need to do here so let's uh, look at uh, one detailed example Let's say we have a binary search tree like this 1, 3, 4, 2, and the values in node 3 and node 2 are swapped. So we need to make 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 3 instead of 1, 3, 4, 2. So when we do in order traversal, so we will start with the root node of the root node 3, and you visit its left subtree first. So left subtree is 1, and 1 doesn't have any uh, left, left subtree. So you will visit the number 1. Then you go to the node, so you visit 3, then you go to its right subtree. So in right subtree again, uh, 
you have four but four again has left subtree so you need to visit its left subtree first before visiting the node four so you visit two and you don't have uh, and you visit uh, node four and you don't have any uh, right subtree so there you will end our traversal so this is the in order traversal so one three two four but ideally we should get a sorted list of numbers but here we don't have sorted list of numbers so our expected uh, numbers will be one two three four so this is what we expect so we need to modify the tree such a way that or rather we need to exchange the values such a way that we get uh, one th one two three four so this is what we are going to do so we just uh, take the minus such tree we do in order traversal we get and you know, we get a list of numbers we sort those numbers so when you sort those numbers you get uh, the expected numbers so we try to compare uh, these two lists so whenever there is a mismatch we know that that particular node is in uh, that particular node is not in proper uh, position so we update the value for that particular node so that we get a proper uh, binary search tree so this is what we are going to do in the code so let's check out the code So we have a function recover tree. We will be given the root of the binary search tree. So what we are going to do is first we take in order traversal of the tree. So we have uh, values with a vector of integers. So we are going to store all the uh, node values in this vector. So when we say in order, so again as you know, uh, as you see, uh, we are using a recursive function. So recursive functions are best used for binary search trees or binary trees. So whenever node is null, you just return. So this will be our base condition. So base condition is very important for recursive functions. Then you call in order for uh, left subtree. So before visiting any node, you have to visit its left subtree completely. So we call in order traversal for node, node of left. Then you pass in the values so we can uh, store the values. Then after that, you visit the node. So we store the value in the vector. Then uh, one important thing that we are doing here is we are using a map to store uh, node values and its node pointers because when we find there is a mismatch in two values we are going to update those nodes values because uh, to update those node values we need the node pointer right so we don't have to uh, process again so if we store the node values we can easily update the values for that particular node so we are storing uh, node pointers with the node value as a key in the map then you call in order with uh, right subtree of the node so this will complete in order traversal for a given node. So when you are doing recursively, it will complete the in order traversal for the complete tree and you are going to get values uh, with all the node values. Then we are trying to sort the values. So you take uh, one more vector sorted. Then you sort the given vector. So you have now you have two vectors. One is values which are not in sorted order. Then you have another sorted which is in which uh, keeps the values in the sorted order. So now we compare uh, based on we compare at every index whether the values are matching or not. So ideally there should be two positions in these two vectors where there will be a mismatch. So we just need to update the values for that particular nodes. So you traverse the complete vector and you find if there is any mismatch. So ideally you should get two positions. So you should enter this if condition two times. So we need to update out of order values. If they are not equal. We need to update, so we need to get the uh, node pointer using values of i. So that will, and then update va its value, node value, using the sorted, the actual value, the expected value. So that will be in the sorted, sorted vector. So this way you update the two values and just, uh, and we don't have to return anything because we, need, we, are, uh, we have to correct the given uh, tree. And this will be having the proper uh, values. So let's execute and see. Yeah, so answer should be uh, 31002. Yeah, and our answer is 31002, so it works fine. So let's submit and check the time complexities. Yeah, the solution has been accepted. Let's check more details. So runtime of 52 milliseconds, all the test cases have been passed. So memory usage is a bit high because we are storing the values and vectors and then we are having a map to store the node values. So the time complexity, the time complexity will be uh, in the order of O of n because 
the in order traversal for a given uh, binary tree or binary search tree will be in the order of O of n plus m where n will be the number of nodes plus m will be the number of inches. So for a given node you have uh, in binary tree you have binary tree or binary search tree you have two edges at most two edges. So it will be in the order of O of n plus uh, m. So m is 2 here so it will be O of n plus 2 which is nothing but O of uh, n. So that will be the uh, time complexity here. So this should be a pretty good solution uh, except that we are using an extra additional space but it should be fine because given that the question is a hard problem. So we can always start with a, a, a better approach that we can uh, think of then we can try to improve further. So thanks for watching. Do subscribe and uh, keep, keep a watch for future videos. Thank you.